Hey everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. On the table is a knife that needs to be clean. We are taking a look at the Kershaw Launch 13. Now many of you know I am not a huge fan of automatic knives. However, I do have a collection of the Launch Series and I love my Launch Series knives. This one is actually a therapeutic edges, but um, since we share our knives, this one will go into the launch collection, and I'm so happy to be able to have this one. It is fun, it is stabby, it is it has great kick to it as you're deploying it. Um, these run for $118.99, and we got ours from SMKW. Thank you, SMKW. Um, let's take a look at some of the specs on this. On this knife, you have got this great, I just love this blade. It is just freaking angry looking, and I love that. It's just so cool. You have a CPM 154 Warm Cliff blade with a satin finish. You have this wonderful out the side, and it's just, listen to this. Wow, that is so snappy. You got this great out the side push button automatic feature. I think these little pivot, triangle pivots on this side, just, I don't know, just sweet. It just, it just looks good. Come on. This is just a wicked looking knife. I really do love it. Um, it is aluminum handles, and the best part is it is right hand. Wah! Left hand for my lefties. Got to give lefty love. Carry with a tip-up blade. Um, you have a deep carry pocket clip on here. However, it is not going to be a true deep carry. It looks like you're going to be about a quarter inch out of pocket, but that's okay. I, you know, the handle on this, I, I don't know what it is. Usually I don't like when they get super fancy on knives and I want something, you know, simple, but I do have a couple that have the cutouts in it and there's something... I, I don't know. There's just something that I really like about that on this one. It's it's um just different. It's just really different, and I really like it. The handle is very thin, so for some of you that have larger hands, it might be a little bit harder for you to really get a good grip on it. Um, for me, with smaller hands, I do not have an issue with it at all. Now, depending on your hand placement, your pocket clip can be a bit of a hot spot. So if you're holding it up further for the smaller hands and you're holding it across your knuckles, it's going to be more of a hot spot. If you're holding it further into the palm of your hand, it's not going to be an issue. Um, this knife is great for large hands and for small hands, and I think that's wonderful. I love it when knives, even if they are a smaller size, I really do love it when they just kind of come together and um, they're great for both size hands. Um, the whole launch series, and now again, we're you know we're at number thirteen. I have all, but I believe one of them, and I'm I'm trying to remember which one it is, but I can't tell you right now because I'm not quite sure. I'd have to go back and look. But that has got to be my all-time favorite um, assisted knives, or out you know out the side knives. I don't know. There's just something about them I really like. Now, these are not legal where I live. I don't believe. Out the fronts are not legal. These assisted, mm, it's iffy. Now, um, being that I grew up with a lot of the officers in the area, and their par their parents actually were officers, um, I most likely wouldn't have a problem if I ever got pulled over and I knew them. They would probably just tell me to put it away. Don't, you know, don't have it out. But um, fidget factor on this one is absolutely awesome. Like I said, the blade steel. Now, I don't know. I believe this was DLC coated. It doesn't feel like it's anodized because you can actually feel it. If it's anodized, you don't usually feel it. But there's just something about this blade shape. I do really, really like it. And you do have enough of a, a edge here where you can... Um, you can sharpen it down quite a bit without having too many problems. You can get a bit of sharpening out of that. Um, all in all, I would say this is a good keeper. Now, 
if you're going to use like in the kitchen, being with it in your hand, you're not going to be able to, your hand's going to hit before that's going to hit. But if you're working on, say, uh, I don't have anything but my phone case, but if you're working on something where it's on a cutting board or something, you know, you're going to be able to have a little more lift. This would be great in the kitchen. Um, because it's not my knife, it's actually my husband's. I have not busted it out in the kitchen. However, I have used it on the simple things that I usually use it on. Um, and it works just great. Your handle, I, and I just, I really do trip on this, but your handle at its smallest point is a half an inch. And that comes here in your second finger placement area, if that's what you'd want to call it. So you're really looking at a super slim handle. Your blade length is three and a half inches. And I mean, your cutting edge is just shy of three and a half inches, really. You um, have a handle that is four and a half inches. And your overall length is going to be eight inches. Now, you would think this knife would be a little bit heavier, um, being that it is aluminum too. Sometimes the aluminum knives can get a little bit heavy. But this is only 2.4 ounces. So this is one that you can throw in your pocket and you're going to forget how light it is. It's not, you know, you're you're going to know it's there, but it's just, I'm really loving it. With the jimping on here, you can really choke up on this knife. Now, you don't have a choil area, and I wouldn't stick my finger there because you definitely would slip and cut yourself. But you can choke up on this, and I love that. I, I am a big fan of the jimping on the blades. Um, I know a lot of people are not. I like it because I feel like my finger is not going to slip now. Also, when I have nails, because sometimes I do, um, it allows me to be able to get a grip on there without having to worry about my nails either. And I do like that. Um, you do have a lanyard hole here. Like I said, I mean, this is just a really interesting knife. All in all, I like the openness of it. I do like the pattern of it. Usually, like I said, I'm not a huge person on patterns. I like them to be simple. But there's something about this one that I really like the look. I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. Um, the ambidextrous factor, I know you guys love that. The lefties out there, I think that's actually really great. The fidget factor, the fact that this is so freaking sharp with a three and a half inch cutting edge. I mean, that is just awesome. Like I said, feeling in hand, it just feels really, really good. It sits in the hand really, really well. It also rides in the pocket really well. And um, I like that too, because I like my knives to be able to ride in the pocket and not be super cumbersome. All right, you guys, this has been a review of the Kershaw Auto Launch 13 in the Launch Series. And I will leave a link to this down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave that down in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here all the time. And go ahead and hit that like button. It does help my channel out. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.